Hey everyone, welcome back to Career Talk, where we're gonna talk about all things career related. I have here Lauren Berger, who is the quintessential intern queen, and she's gonna help us on today's topic, how to stand out during an internship. Students have done so much work, they land this amazing internship, and then sometimes it stops. And that's what we don't want to happen. So one tip that I have is don't focus on the first impression. We all know that you got to be there early. You got to dress professional. You have to volunteer for everything. You have to be nice to everybody. What about day 10? What about day 20? What about the last day of your internship? Are you still maintaining that first impression? Are you still dress the part? Are you still eager and being nice to everybody? Or do you have an attitude now? You know, is your cell phone out? Are you texting all the time? Are you wearing flip flops? Make sure that whatever you put out into the world on that first day, you maintain that throughout every day of the internship. So I think that's an important tip. You know, having someone that's not jaded, as I think you were mentioning, like if they're breaking out the cell phone, if you're helping someone right. with social media, then we understand, absolutely, it's so important to always be on and to be more responsive on social media, but there is a time for all that too. There is a time to show people that you're more aware and you're conscious of your environment. So like helping out, even if it's not your job to help that person out, just ask, hey, can I help? I think I'm here to help are like the best words you can ever say because I'm telling you, someone's gonna take you up on that help sometime yeah. and they're gonna remember you as the person who's always asking others if they need help in the office. What does one wear when they want to stand out in an internship when it comes to dress code, but still following the guidelines, but still standing out a little bit? Right, so I think it's important to, first of all, identify what that company dress code is. And that is a great question to ask before the first day of your internship. Because of course, again, you want to set that first impression and make sure you sort of look the part. If you're unsure, go with the safe choice, especially for the first week or two of your internship. After that two week mark, you'll understand what people are wearing. But I always say that if the dress code is, let's say business casual, you know, that's a little bit borderline. Sometimes that means that dark denim is acceptable mm -hmm. and sometimes it doesn't. I would err on the side of caution. And you know, you're gonna wanna focus on dresses, skirts, uh, nice pants and tops and different combos that you can wear. So invest in that great blazer, get a white button down shirt. If it's summertime, get one of those sleeveless, you know, collared, uh, kind of like what I'm wearing, but the shirt version instead of the dress version, you know, get that shirt and you can put that under any blazer and, you know, go to an inexpensive store and get a bunch of, I'm like wearing everything I'm talking about here, but you know, get a bunch of like in, yes. inexpensive um, statement necklaces and you can kind of change it out. But I really think that with a bunch of staple pieces, you know, a good cardigan, a good uh, black pencil skirt, you can really do a lot. You're always going to use them and when you get these staples, uh, pieces and like vintage shopping is also a great place to like find some of these pieces if you don't want to go high designer we also want to invest a little in quality too so how does one network I mean this is a really huge step for any intern who wants to get a taste of the professional world. So I think first of all, you have to network. You have to be comfortable and confident putting yourself out there. Anytime you're invited to a professional networking event, make sure you go. At the office, you wanna try to build what I call below the surface relationships. You wanna really understand what drives and motivates the people around you. You know, maybe your supervisor is obsessed with his dog. You know, that that's an important fact to know because that's something that's really meaningful to him. Maybe the woman who sits down the hall from you loves to go on vacation and she just comes to work so that she can go on more vacations. But learn these things about people. Is there a time when, when someone's overreaching? Like, as a professional, you shouldn't be networking that way. So what are the don'ts now to yeah, networking in that case? I think it's important to sort of know the room. So here's an example. If you're at your internship and you're invited to sit in on a marketing meeting and you're in the meeting and all the executives are talking, it might not be appropriate to just shout out an idea. That's a time where you'd want to ask your internship supervisor, you know, in the meeting, is it okay if I share my ideas? If you're hesitant, just don't do it. And remember, you always have to be professional. Um, a lot of students have business cards now. That's that's all the rage. Oh, wow. um, and student business cards? Yeah, and I'm, I'm a big supporter of the student business card, but make sure that you're not taking that business card and shoving it in people's mm -hmm. faces. You know, the appropriate thing to do is to say, I happen to have a student business card on me. Is it okay if I give you one? I'd love to stay in yeah. touch with you. So now that you've networked, you made some great contacts. How do you take your internship and turn it into a job? 
two weeks before the end of the internship, you want to ask for that letter of recommendation. You want to start making a list of everyone that you're going to send a thank you note to after the internship. Yes. And I would just have those ready. So as soon as your internship's over, you can put those in the mail. And that way, everyone in the office gets one ASAP. And then my secret intern queen rule is you stay in touch with your professional contacts three times per year. You want people to remember you. You don't want it to be awkward come a year later <laughs> and say, hey, remember me? I was that one intern from way back then. Can you help me get a job? You know, you want to get in the habit of having your name appear in that executive's inbox at least three times per year, because one day you will need a favor. So again, you don't want to sort of use up all your favors. <laughs> so, you know, hold the favors until you need them and stay in touch with everybody three times per year. And that is going to help you turn the internship yes. into a job. KIT, keep in touch. Yep. My question is, how do I get more people to take me seriously in the workplace? Love you from Canada. Love you. Yeah, I think it's all about acting like a professional. Check your stress at the door. You know, we don't need to hear about how stressed you are and how busy you are and all the other things you have going on all day long. I think when you're at work, be at work, be totally present and in the moment. And I think your coworkers will really appreciate that and they'll come to rely on you. I think if you're checking in with the people around you and you're showing that you care, and you're very thoughtful, people appreciate that. Beyond professionalism, it just shows that you're an amazing human being. Hey Michelle, my question is, what are parts of an internship, internship that can be the most challenging? Okay, love you, thanks, bye. So, <laughs> so cute. Um, I mean, I think the most challenging part of an internship is that sometimes you're dealing with busy people who are multitasking, who are several years out of school, and they forget that you don't already know how to do everything at the company. Don't be afraid to ask questions. There is no bad question to ask. I think the one thing you can do is, again, take a deep breath, listen to all the information someone is sharing, always take notes. The second your internship coordinator says, I have an assignment for you, notebook, pen, take it out, and just take notes on everything they say and save your questions for the end. That way you don't have to interrupt them, but at the end of the conversation, um, you'll go through that list of questions that you have. Thank you so much, Lauren, for being an amazing intern queen and for helping everyone here who just wants to elevate their career. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you on our next career talk. Bye, good luck.